Greetings, unsettled souls! Welcome to The Correct Views. Uh, Sam DeGangi, your beautiful, talented, and extremely humble host. Um, hey guys, let, let's take a moment and let's, let's cheer for all of the goodness the kneeling has brought to the NFL. That's it. That's it. Let, let it swell. Let it swell. Let us let us really take a moment here at the beginning of the show. As I remind you, get a hold of me at the correct views on hotmail.com. Hit share, hit subscribe, and watch on Opera News. As we get things started here, let's just cheer at all of the good things that Black Lives Matter and all of their divisiveness have brought to the sport of football. Let's even watch some video of it, shall we? Oh, let's see this goodness. The guy there that got knocked out. Let me tell you, if if you if the way you fight somebody swinging at you is to do this, you're going to end up like he did, but I digress. Oh, yeah, let, let, let's let that cheering go. All right, guys, look at this. Here's what actually happened. Here's what you just saw. It's from the Sun News. Let me mute this because now it's going to play us for 20 minutes and not let me stop it. Um, flag, uh, flag on the play. Shock video shows another huge bra in the stands at the NFL after the woman slaps a man in the face. Yeah, because, you know, the, the culture changed. The, the way that we've moved to a more caring and kneeling NFL is going to unite all of us, as you can see. Dramatic footage shows the moment. Oh, excuse me, I already read that. So I must be as dumb as a football player. Chaos erupted in the stands at the Steelers' pregame season. Can't wait till the regular season. Against the Detroit Lions in Pittsburgh after being sparked what appeared to be a row between two fans. You guys saw the video, so I'm not going to go into great detail. Um... It explains what happened, and it says, uh, It is unclear what started the row, but the Steelers ended up beating the Lions 20 to, 26 to 20 in a preseason game. This fight comes after an NFL fan took a savage beating during a preseason game between the LA Rams and the LA Chargers just last week. Three men unleashed a barrage of punches when a fight erupted after a woman threw a beer during a ferocious exchange of words. That, she must have been really rich because beers are like $12 there. I mean, he should have taken it and like took her to the pawn shop or something. Footage filmed inside the SoFi Stadium in California showed the fans of opposing teams yelling at each other before things turned violent. Meanwhile, it's been reported that Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver Antonio Brown was kicked off the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, practice. If you want to know my uh, pet name for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, get a hold of me at the correct views of Hotmail.com, and I'll be sure to tell you. Brown allegedly had a brawl with Titans cornerback Chris Jackson during a one-on-one -on -one drill this week. It's believed Brown reportedly ripped off Jackson's helmet as a result and was removed from the field. Brown signed a deal by six. Who cares how many millions of dollars it was? But this is the this is the culture that we should be so happy is uh, is coming here, uh, courtesy of the kneeling, courtesy of the uh, the cultured, uh, fine, gentlemanly people, which are now being brought into the sport due to all of the benefits which come from uh, cultural diversity and uh, teaching us to hate each other. Critical race theory is doing a beautiful job of, re of uniting us. As a matter of fact, I want to show you some more of the unification video that I got here. This is this is uni unifying video. I think. All right, now it doesn't want to play, which is fine. It's typical of the the sun is a real spammy in terms of their ads, as you can tell by this frightening, frightening monster. All right. Oh, 
Oh, uh, hold on. Because it froze when she threw the beer. So, okay. This is, this is the beauty which we get to look forward to because of uh, all the kneeling. All of the unity that is being pushed. Oh, there goes Fatso. Oh, he was doing good at first, but oh, oh, Fatty going down. Fatty down. Fatty down. Oh, oh, Black Fat down. Down, 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 down. Black Hawk down. <laughs> Madness, friends, madness. So, we 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 have got uh, uh, the fat black hawk down, uh, the helicopter blades twirling. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm I, I'm not making jokes about a helicopter crash. Uh, I guess I'm being Lenny Bruce here. It's gallows humor. You want me to be serious? Fine, I'll be serious. This is a disaster, friends. This is an absolute disaster. We have taken sports where people genuinely, generally have a good time and they separate from politics and become one unified person. You know what? I always do these videos. I do articles. I used to watch football and baseball to get away from all of this. And now all of this has infected the sport. And what it's done is it's turned the good-hearted American fun that we used to have at sports into the crap that they have over in England, in, in England, in Europe, with football, so football, soccer. Call it what it is, it's soccer. They're all fighting over their politics and their sports. And now we've got that here. So if you don't like me making Black Hawk Down jokes about the fat guy who's swinging his helicopter blades before getting beaten up, if you don't like me talking about the hoochie throwing a beer, then maybe it's time we realize we're dividing over stupid things now. The football games? That's leisure, people. We're fighting over nothing. That's the correct view.